first started photographing the boats, I came to Chestertown and found Carla and her gallery. And um, she's, you know, I think it's one of the finest galleries in the Mid-Atlantic region. And we've been working together for over 20 years now. Yeah. And in fact, she's the first person to put me on a gallery wall, put my work on a gallery wall, and she's been supporting me ever since. Oh, no. Now I hand hold the old cameras, and um, you might want to see them. But anyways, uh, no, I have a, a, let's call it a, a, a success rate, a small success rate of about 2%. Yeah, I mean, I'll shoot, I have 12 exposures on a roll of film. I, I hand wind the film through the camera, so I take a picture, I crank, I take a picture, I crank, and then the boat is gone. So then we set up for the next shot. So it does force me to shoot less, think more. When I put this collection together, I, you can instantly tell which ones are going to be the, I call it the home run photograph. And sometimes you don't quite hit it as big as you want, but then your standards are always different from other people's standards. So, but you can always pick out one or two photographs that are going to be the successful ones this, uh, that are going to, and the rest are support for what you're trying to do. You either do it in the dark room or you do it on the computer. I like the hands-on, I like the, yeah. tact, the tactile thing. I like having a roll of film. I like working under the enlarger. I don't necessarily like standing in a dark room for eight hours, um, but that's part of the process.